force on the current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. Now let's see this experiment. Huh? So this experiment, you can see that there is a cell, okay, batteries here, and there's a switch, and uh, there is a resistor, okay. This resistor is to control the current, huh? the magnitude of the current. This is a very uh, adjustable uh, resistance, okay. It's a variable resistance. Actually, it's a real stat, huh? okay. It's a real stat. So this cell, the current, the current in the cell will flow from a positive to a negative terminal. So that is the directions of the current. So this current will flow down, okay, and then it will pass through this wire. And then so take notes that this wire, this wire uh, is inside a magnetic field. This is the south pole and this is the north pole of the magnetic field. Eh? So this wire, it will pass through the magnetic field and then go up and uh, back to the cell again. So when we switch on the switch, eh, okay, we switch on the switch and then see what happens. Eh? So the observations, observations, when the switch is on, you turn on the switch, the wire will swing to the right. So this wire, this wire, it will swing, it will swing to the right. When you switch on the switch, eh? okay, it will swing to the right. Means that there's a force that push it to the right. Eh? There's a force that push it to the right. Uh, then we switch off the we switch off the switch off this switch, and then we reverse or inverse the the battery here. This is positive. This this negative, right? Okay, so we inverse it to make this negative, this positive, eh? and then we switch on the switch again to see what happens, and we found that. Uh, the wire will swing to the left. The wire will swing to the left. Huh? Okay, it means that uh, if we change the directions of a current, it will swing to the opposite side. Huh? Okay, so from here we can conclude that we can conclude that when there is current flow in the magnetic field, a force will be produced. As long as there's a current flow in the magnetic field, a force will be produced. That is the first thing that you need to know. And second, the directions of the force produced depends on the directions of the current. If the current is inversed, then the directions of the force will also inverse. So that is uh, what we get from this experiment. So this experiment, these are the conclusions. So when a current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field, the interactions between the two magnetic fields will produce a force on the conductor. Now, why they say the interactions between two magnetic fields? Where, where come these two magnetic fields? There's only one magnet, right? North, south, okay, this one magnet, right? Okay. Uh, so this is a permanent magnet. Eh? It's a permanent magnet. So for this permanent magnet, it has a magnetic field. But when current flow through this wire, this wire, it will become an electromagnet. We have learned this uh, in previous lessons, right? As long as there's a current flow in the conductor, then the conductor will become an electromagnet. So this electromagnet will generate another magnetic field. Another magnetic field. So there's, there, there are two magnetic fields. One is the magnetic fields of the permanent magnet. And another one is the magnetic field of this uh, electromagnet, this wire. Okay, because current flow through this wire, it becomes electromagnet. So, so there are two magnetic fields. Eh? Magnetic fields of the per permanent magnet and magnetic fields of this electromagnet. So the interactions between these two magnetic fields, it will produce a force. Okay, it will produce a force and the directions of the force depends on the directions of the current. As I told you just now, that is the conclusion from this experiment.